Right, putting for, unfortunately, I've, I thought, well, I may as well record it while I'm out for, for two or three holes. This is my par putt on the second ball. Three holes, it's going to be boring for me. Getting off, uh, pulled out, and I've another bad day. This is my par putt. Yeah, sorry, I had a spank and drive. I've had a spank and drive. So you're not gonna have a good view of the camera because I'm kind of fucked like this. I had a spank and, I had a spank and drive to the right of the bunk on the second wall. You're probably all familiar with it now. Uh, hit the hybrid for about 60 yards in the green and I've just put one on and that was my top putt and I've missed. So that's a five. Twilight golf, eh? Yeah, I'll play. Uh, I'm more than going to be able to get a three or four holes in. The first one play. But, uh, yeah, I've decided to do it just to say, look, I've played golf today. You're not going to stop me from hitting golf balls, no matter how bad I'm feeling. Uh, right. So, how bad this is probably burning in the eyes and having this. I'm going to do it and it's probably down back. Right, let's try it again. Pin. We all know this hole very well. The little par three. In fact, you know all the holes very well now. Win yard probably. Here we are. Six iron out. I may as well video it because, uh, well, may as well. I may as well video it. I'm out playing. May as well just video. Video it for you. I haven't got the wireless mic on, so. You might not hear us properly and stuff, but just to say, just so you can see us out and playing, so you know I'm out and playing. So I'm trying the damn best. Right. I've only got a half chest, so we'll have to do the six iron again. Designs very well now, by the way. Left side of the green. I'm used to these uh, irons now. I'm getting used to these irons now. And they're performing very well. So, sorry, the camera's upside down and I'm carrying them bad. So that's what's going to happen. Just got the half step. You see, with the half step, it's great because I can just grab it. And I'm straight out on the golf course after I've had a nap or something. I woke up, it was uh, 10 to 6 and I said bloody hell, so I just rushed to the garage, suddenly bag and I'm out. Yeah, that's the way to do it. So I've got the half set ready, and when I'm properly straight again, all I do then is just switch the 7 tubs over my main bag and I've got all my stuff in there so very very handy but oh I'm getting really used to these irons now these rogue irons they've, they've played well for us these rogue irons I'm doing really well with them I might be able to squeeze in two or three more holes and that's it but oh I'm, I'm doing really well with these rogue irons now they're performing well for us see where we are on the, what I am on the green last time I wasn't I took a little bit of a harder swing here there I am, left hand side of the green. Brilliant. Brilliant. From roughly, I don't know the yardage is because I didn't put it on the range finder, but I would say that's roughly 160 yards ish, ish at the moment, about 160 feet. Yeah, I'll take that. I will take that. Putting for birdie. Yeah, sorry, it's cut off. But now I'm putting the birdie on the top three.
Good Paul. Just gotta keep playing until it's pitch black. We're just gonna keep playing until it's pitch black. with John whatever happens. Right. <laughs> Driver out. Why I tend to favour that right side, I don't know. I don't know. But I always go right on this hole. Still, good connection. I'm not going to moan or complain about it. Should be happy. Got a little bit right, just right in that right bunker. Should be in that first cut over there. Should be alright. Probably a pitching wedge of the light on. I've only got a pitching wedge on it, so it's gonna have to be the one of the two. But though I'm getting used to this uh, Taylor Lee drive, I'm getting used to it. It's not as bad. When I was first using it, I've got a lot more control with it now. I don't know what that is. I think it's because I've got the volume on the phone. Probably a message or something. Probably about 10 past 6 now. I think that was doing number 7 and the number 8, and then that's it. I'll have to finish it there. It'll be pitch black by the time I finish number 8, I think. Just walk and carry your clubs, even though it's a half step and then now a challenge. I like the energy I've got, that's the strength. Oh. Right, let's see if we can find this boat and get near the bunk and on the right side. Should be somewhere in the first cut, I would imagine. I would imagine. Oh, here it is, just here. Yeah, it's just short of the first cut as I expected. No nasty surprises there. It's a very, very tight fairway, this. Once you get over this bunker, it's hard to explain to you how it tightens up the hole, but it does, it tightens right up on you. It tightens right up on you, and... Uh, Ends up being a very, very tight wall. But I always go for 132, be aggressive. I always go for the flag, always 132. I'm going to try and hit a nuclear pitching wedge. The 8, I think, is going to be just too much. Good 
strike the right number. I can't see if, I can't see if I'm over the green or if I'm on the green or what. But we're walking, talking, talking about how to get potentially another birdie shot. So I'll take the glove off, I'm trying to be confident to take the glove off. I thought it was going just to the left of the fly. I thought, oh, brilliant. Is that it? It's back, back of the green. I'm not sure. I think I stripped that too well. I think, golf friends, I'm striking the ball too well. <laughs> I'm going to laugh if, I, if this is over the green because the range finder picks it up at 132. If I've hit a pitching wedge to the back of the green, 140 odd yards, that's one hell of a strike. The goal striking has never been any better, to be honest. I have to be honest. I've got to be honest with you. Ball strike has never been any better. No, here it is. That's under the green. I was gonna say, um, I couldn't hit the pitching wedge 100, 133 yards with a slight wind in my face like that. that that's the dash in far too much. But hey, I've got a 12 foot for birdie. Maybe a little less. Maybe a 10 foot for birdie. Yeah, about 10 foot for birdie. We ball strike, and even though we health. Isn't that its best? We ball strike and there's never been any better. Maybe it maybe these irons are just sitting up in the gear like a short rope. I don't know once I've been used to them. That's the right foot. What the hell is what? Yeah, with the irons, the ball striking has never been better. It really hasn't. I'm going to go for the seventh. The ball striking has never been any better. Okay, I'm going to stick with this in the six because it's going to be pitch black. We'll go to where I hit my hole in one. Yeah, I always get, I always get good vibes off this hole. Where I hit the hole in one and started the whole videos. The hole in one, you know, way back in July, started the videos, believe it or not. It's nearly a year ago, nearly a year ago, isn't it? We're a month and a half away from when I hit that hole in one. Was it July? I think it was July I hit this and started the videos. If it wasn't for that hole in one, I don't think those videos would have came to light. And I wouldn't have had 53 subscribers. I've, um, again, congratulations to Jack for winning the 50th subscriber challenge. Um, well done to you. I posted your stuff today, first class and everything. I think I sent you a message and I think I replied back to you and stuff. So. I think you're aware of it, but well done. We get the golf shirt, the cap, the towel, and three Shixon green golf balls. So yes, well done. Well done to you. Enjoy them. Don't be getting any ideas, everybody, that this is going to be every time I play a full round now. But I will be doing little giveaways and stuff just for, uh, for certain things. To make it a bit fun, I just thought, hey, you know, I'll just, I'll just make it a bit fun. 50, 50 subscribers to is a big thing. If I, if I ever hit the 100 mark, that'll be me having a, a heart attack. I don't know why anybody would want to watch my garbage. Right. The seventh where the hole in one happened six times. No, I haven't got to the seventh. I'm going to go straight to the hole, which is generally about 160 yards. Good to go. Do a hole in one tonight. I 
wasn't a good strike that. Well, I, I, well I, when I saw it was a good strike, it was a good strike, it just went off to the left. It didn't go where I wanted it to go, I must have walked in the field for two years. It'll be somewhere down there where the left bumper is. Anyway, my ball's going to be somewhere down here, I suspect. Might be a bunker shot, might be a pitch over the bunkers. I suspect more to pitch over the bunkers, but we'll have a look. I've got to be honest with you. And oh, two point two is lost. Two point two is lost. It's going to drop one. It's dark and everything, we can't be messing about here. We've got a ball here. I thought it would just be around about this area, but uh, it must have violently kicked off the bank and done something I'm unaware of. Yeah, it must have kicked off the bank and done something I'm unaware of because uh, I saw it in the flight go off left and I went, oh dearie me, it's, it's off left, maybe I'll uh, have to push it over the green, but uh, it's pretty bad, let's see if I'm not. This was my initial reaction when I was paid. I thought there was no hole in one tonight. <laughs> that was my initial reaction. Uh, but I didn't think it was going to be lost. It looks as if it's a lost ball. I'll have a look on the way back down, but uh, I didn't think it was that bad a shot. I said to myself, oh, it'll just be a pitch over the front door, unless it's violently hit off the bank, and it's done something I'm 
that's what they're unaware of. A likely possibility. It's a likely possibility because that's a steep slope actually on the side of the boat when I look at it that way. It's a possibility. I've actually hit that off the deck or what, but it's down there. Yeah, they were walking up that fairway now. Again, but it's a, uh, a right weird one, yeah. It's a right weird one. Uh, you see, I was expecting it to be round about where I'm walking now. It's a right weird one. that one as to what's happened to it. Oh hold on here it is. I've got it. Yeah I've got it. It's in the trees. It's all right off don't worry I found it it's in the trees. I'll replace it so the white ones can see it better. Yeah well that's good I found it. I was like, well, it couldn't have gone all the way down to where the eight hole is with the box and everything else. It couldn't have possibly have done that. I was pretty aware of that. But uh, yeah, we found it. It's alright. If it was a bit lighter, I would have been able to find it, but I'm turning into pitch black now. Now then, this white ball. My ball's a bit of a miss you know. What I did with that. Oh, it's over here. Okay. That's not so much a mystery. That's... da 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 to be a six isn't it again to make sure I get it over this time make sure you hear poppies on put it down the slope to give you a harder shot I put it well whether or not right that's whether or not I've got the carry That'd be the question. I've got the strike. I just wonder if I've got the carry for the six iron to get it up and onto the green. Take the glove off, I'm going to be confident. Yeah, it was a good strike. We've got a down stroke, so it's whether the question is, did I get the height to get the roll up onto the green? You know what? I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure if I put my mind to it, I could break 79 on Winyard again. I, I know I can. You know this course very, very well, John. You're both striking. 
and you're better than me, give it another go because your ball striking has never been any better. You could break 80 on this course, John. I know you can break 80. You've done it before. I don't know why. I mean, the, the, the competition fees aren't out yet, so you have to go off the ellis, but there's no reason why you can't break 80 on this course. Your ball strike is good enough, your driver is coming into its own now. You could do this. If you put your mind to it, have the physical strength and health, you could do it. You could break 80 on this course. I know you can. I know you can do it. You're a bloody good enough golfer to do it. Right. I'm doing now, and I'm up where the green is. Ah, oh, from the bunker. Uh, you see, that was the question. And it always, it doesn't matter where you hit it, it always runs down to the left, into the trap. Um, that was always going to be the question. Am I going to get the height on it? That was always, always, always going to be the question. Have I got enough to carry it onto the green? I didn't. I didn't. Wrong one, I'm up to 58. But yeah, I reckon. Am I very, very happy to out the big 80 on here? Forward, John, the main thing around. I've got height and I've got a quick, I just didn't quite get the distance. Um, I can do it, I can do it, I know I can, physically I can do it. The only thing that stopped me doing it the last time, John, was you had a duffer of a last hole where you went for the hard shot, you should have just went for the little pitch. Instead you went for the tricky flop shot and tried to put it dead on the green. You went for the, uh, the 78, didn't you, instead of the 79, and you should have just settled for the 79. And that was the only mistake. I think that was the only mistake I made on that round, wasn't it? I can't think of anything else. Uh, the bunker, which is fine. I'll take that on this hole. Position over here. I think a lot of golfers would have might play the nine pack. Keep on going. I think anyone would take that actually. A five of the uh, ten handicap. Because that's not the easiest hole. But no, um. The only thing I can say now of Winyard is it used to be a lovely course and I used to think, oh, it's, it's great and everything, but it's gone backwards. To me now, it's a horrible, nasty thing. Well, it's not nasty, it's the truth to be honest. You can't, you, you, you can't be nasty to tell the truth. In my honest opinion, Winyard now is just a really, really posh, expensive version of George Washington. That's what it's become. That's what it's become, folks. It's a, it's a posh version of George Washington where they don't really particularly want visitors. They don't really want you to be on the golf course for charging 30 odd quid with, with a member. 32 quid with a member. Uh, 60 quid standard rate in the summer. So basically, what they're saying is they don't. We don't want visitors on the golf course. We don't want visitors on the golf course. We want to keep an exclusive private club. And I felt like George Washington was a little bit like that with me. And I feel Winyard is becoming a little bit like that. Which is the total opposite. Can't believe Feels like if I want a parking course, that should be my home course. It's 
feels, it feels right. I think good vibes of Castle Eden. Whereas here, I don't, I don't get good vibes here. Still get a goal, it's a, it's a game of golf, but you know. That. I've got a provisional just after I was saying I'm getting used to be driver. I think I've produced one of the worst shots I've ever hit. Right. Oh, top down. One more. Jesus, how I drop. Concentrate. I think I'm rushing, I think. A little bit better, a bit toy, but it's down there. I think it's because I rushed, I rushed the, the shot. In fact, I think I rushed both two drives. In fact, I rushed the third one. Because it's pitch black and it's dark and I wanted to be I think that was it. Never been a big fan of this horse this time. Don't ask me why. I don't think the eye suits it. I don't think the eye suits it. One of these holes in the eye is never really suited. I'll find the white in that top soon. In this light. I should, I should, I should have brought the ultraviolet portrait. It's amazing. I was watching these videos. That's uh, these blokes. They go out with the UV lights. How many golf balls they find in the, um, on the golf courses on a night. In the trees and stuff, it's amazing. We've come out with about a hundred golf balls each night for a couple of hours searching in the dark. Absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to have to scatter the area by the other two because it's that pitch black now. There's one. There's one. There's one yellow one. Which one's this? Bird, I know that. Where's the 150 mark? The 150 mark is new over there, isn't it? I'm gonna hit a six iron and just hope. This one is, well, that's, that's the first one. There's gonna be more birds down there somewhere. Just gotta hope it's just on the fairway. Where that ball is, is anyone's guess, because it is pitch black. Where it is, is anyone's guess. It's absolutely pitch black. Well, he did. Well, he did hit the hole. Well, he did the hole somewhere down there. Right. Now then, where's the provisional? The provisional Callaway, that could be anywhere as well. I think it went left side near this bunker. Well, I do know when it's pitch black like this. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Here it is. Here's the provisional next to the 150 stage. Oh, that's good, I found all three balls in the pitch black, just about. Yeah, they, they are so good, those Callaways, mind for seeing. They are brilliant. They're as bright as, they're as, bright as the star of them. They are brilliant. I've seen that in the pitch black where the other one, the Wilson, I just haven't seen. So, golf friends for the winter, take yourselves a couple of dozen Callaway Warbirds. They're fantastic. Honestly, 16 quid a dozen. They are the most durable and, for the price, decent performing golf ball I've ever had. Uh, I don't dig up golf balls, but my review of the Callaway Warbird is it is absolutely brilliant as a winter ball. Absolutely brilliant. And get it in the yellow so you can see it in the winter. And for those of you who don't buy it and try it out for yourselves, I think you're a rather foolish because it's a great ball. It's a great, great ball for 16 quid a dozen. 
I mean, how, how, how many packs of golf balls now can you get for 16 quid a dozen? Top brands. Seriously. You're paying virtually £1.20 a golf ball. That's all you're paying. £1.20 a golf ball. Get yourself a Pro V1 and uh, good shot. And uh, you're, you're looking. Oh, I don't know where the hell I'm hitting this. I think I've gone straight to the bunker. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, get yourself some more birds and start believing that. You don't need expensive golf balls to play great golf because you don't, you don't, trust me, I've proved it. Where the hell is my golf ball at? Where, oh there it is, it's on the green actually, so it's actually a good shot. So yeah, uh, just believe you don't, you, you, it's like everything, just, just think. It's all right blaming your equipment and everything, but the way I look at it, those Pro V1s are designed for shot shooters. For those who have got incredible green side control, I mean, if we, if we hit a Pro V1 spot on, we wouldn't know how the hell to control the spin. I don't, I, I certainly wouldn't, you might, but... You might be able to control the spin like Tiger Woods and everything, but if I had a perfect wedge shot right in the centre of the green, on an 80 yard pitch shot, with a Pro V1, I don't think I would have the first clue how to control that spin. I don't think I would have the first clue. And I think I would hit it and it would back spend 10 yards and it would end up falling into a front bunker or something. With the driver, I think I would just speed the hell out of it because I don't know how to control the spin. I wouldn't be able to control the side spin put on the ball. And trust me, I've, I've done this with Pro V1s and I just, I just used to feed the hell out of them. Uh, I used to hit them in the water and God knows what, and I said, you know, these are supposed to be 45 quid a dozen. And I'm hitting them, and I'm hitting them in the water, I'm hitting them in hazards. Uh, I can't control the spin. I'm hitting the shot, oh great, there we go, oh whoa, 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 it spanned 10 yards backwards. I didn't know I could do that with the golf ball. Um, and obviously the design is the top top place, but those wool birds, I have not got a bad word for them. I do not have a bad word for them. They are probably the best performing golf ball I have ever hit for winter golf at 16 quid a dozen. Never mind what Rich Shield says and everything, to those of you who know me, you know I'm a decent honest bloke, I wouldn't lie and cheat, cheat you. And I am not getting paid to use their equipment. So have faith and belief in what I say. And just try them, just try them, just, just, just one. Just try them and see what happens. I do not believe I'm doing this. But I'm going to play the shot off the first. I might end up losing my golf ball. Hey, they've um, put grass on the tea box. I've actually done it. They've um, regrassed the tea box. It looks alright, actually. Even though it's pitch black, I can't see out. I've regrassed it. If I lose my golf ball, then. You know what I mean? You probably won't even be able to see me on camera. Probably won't be able to see me on camera.
Where that is is anyone's guess. And I mean, and I mean that. If I've lost the ball, I've lost the ball. I'll just walk in. But let's see if we can play it quite nicely from the dark. This can be fun. Yeah, I want to get to where the summer and everything, and it gets light at about nine o'clock. So that's when it'll be good. Got to get out and uh, have a good fun. If, if I'm well enough, that is. If I'm well enough. Yeah, so this is only one to guess. If I find this all four man, it's a bloody miracle. Mm. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to start the entire fairway. Twilight Golf. Twilight Golf at its best. So yeah, uh, I'm going to be really struggling now to get 18 holes in. So friends, it's got to the point now where this is just not getting solved. I'm frustrated and angry with the consultants. I'm frustrated and angry. And nothing's being done about it. Just straight and angry at all the treatment of doing these work. And it's really very simple, it's just something irritating my veins, and irritating my stomach, and irritating my gut. And that's all it is. That's all it is. But yet these so called clever experts cannot work it out. And it's peeing the hell out of me. The hope and the cure the colitis, and then they'll cure. The other stuff might ease up, but it's, it's, it's desperation stage, never mind, it's desperation stage when you kind of get out and just have a game of golf. It's just that desperation. Every time I'm eating 20 minutes, boof! It's like an avalanche burning and then burning in the eyes, burning in the stomach, and then bang, 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 bang in the eyes, bang, bang, bang in the stomach, bang, bang, bang in the bottom of your, bottom of your bloody feet and your hands. Uh, right. Oh, is that it? No, oh, can it be? Ah, no, 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 I didn't. I thought you're not going to be that lucky, John. Just to walk, walk straight onto it. Uh, it will be up here somewhere. If I can't find it, I will just walk in. It's absolutely pick class. If I find it, I'll play the shot, obviously, but... I think we're getting past the point now where the ball's going to be. Yeah, I think we're getting past the point where the ball would be. Yeah. I don't know why I do that, just lose ball for the crap. I don't know why I do it. You probably can't even see me. You, you, probably, you won't see a damn thing now. Even if I did find the ball, you wouldn't see, you wouldn't see a damn thing. Well, I've just got to accept that the Wilson ball's on. Hey, it was a bit of fun while we were at this. These are the clear golf and the pitch black. You obviously can't. It's obviously, golf obviously is sport, you can't play at the pitch black. But, uh, hey, we got out there, we had a few holes, we had a bit of fun. I lost the ball in the process, so I'm not bothered. I've got plenty of plenty of golf balls, you usually find golf balls. So yeah, as I say, um, have a think. Go on Amazon, they're easily available, just buy uh, a dozen of them. The Callaway Warbirds, people out there. And try them for yourselves, you can get them in white. But obviously I prefer the yellow because I, I, I can see the golf ball better. But if you want, uh, if you want the white, traditional white, they've got them in traditional white. And for 16 quid a dozen, just try them. Honestly, that's all you've got to do is try them. I'm not telling you to come in and use them for the rest of your lives. I'm just saying buy a dozen for 16 quid. It's not a big risk to take. And just try them. Just give them a go. But for the winter, they're so durable. They've got good green side control. They feel, they feel fine off the cutter face. They don't feel hard. Um, and they're so durable so durable and also go on Amazon and type in Paddy Whites and have a look at them because 
they are the school golf balls like now. I mean, when I usually use a golf ball after a round, if I, if I have one golf ball the whole round, and it's looking and dirty and everything, I just throw it away. I just go, well, I can't use that again. I can't see the thing. Now, I used one of them on one of the warbirds, one of these caddy whites, and it's brought the ball back to almost brand new. I went, oh, right. I could use that golf ball again, and, I, and I've got a record of using the golf ball. I think it was 37 holes or something. And I just kept using the golf ball for two, two rounds in one hole or something, and then on the second, I think I lost it or something. But I had a record of about 37 holes using the same ball. And thanks to them caddy whites, um, I'm not sure how much they are. I think they're £6.50 for a pack of 40. But let me tell you, they are worth every penny. Because for £6.50, they will save you, I can guarantee you, they will save you five times the amount in golf ball uh, if, if you're a player who can hit the ball straight and keep it straight. I can guarantee you, you will love those caddy whites to bring the ball back to its full brilliant best as well. Not brilliant best, obviously. But uh, you don't like the lake balls, it brings it into them sort of conditions again. We can use them again. So yeah, go on Amazon. Type in caddy wipes. Uh, I think they might come from Europe actually, so they might be out of stock. They sometimes run out of stock, you see. That's the problem with them. But um, have a look. Caddy wipes. And test them out for yourselves as well. I can't rate them any highly. Uh, it also works for your golf clubs as well. If, uh, if, if you get muck and stuff on, on, on your clubs you've got on the golf course, just use a caddy wipe. Take it straight off. They are very, very handy things to have in your golf bag. Right, I'm back at the house. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. This is John from John Hutton Golf Channel. See you later. Bye for now. Bye.